hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel the topic that i am going to discuss today is concept of linkers in gene cloning this concept linkers can be used in conjunction with an important enzyme called as ligases which join dna molecules together by synthesizing phosphodiester bonds between nucleotides at the end of two different molecules or the two ends of a single molecule for example dna ligases or t4 ligase in this video i am going to discuss two aspects namely first a short introduction to linkers and second how the linker process actually takes place but before going into the details i want you all to understand broad classification of enzymes used in gene cloning I have already uploaded video of it on my YouTube channel. Link is in the description. So please go through it. It will help you to understand this topic better. So without a further delay, let us understand concept of linkers in gene cloning. If you are new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed, subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the latest updates of my new uploads linkers are short pieces of double stranded dna of known nucleotide sequence that are synthesized in test tube it is blunt ended but contains a restriction site eco r1 in the example shown DNA ligase can attach linkers to the end of larger blunt ended DNA molecules although a blunt end ligation this particular reaction can be performed very efficiently because synthetic oligonucleotides such as linkers can be made in very large amounts and added into the ligation mixture at a high concentration more than one linker will attach to each end of the dna molecule producing the chain structure as shown in the figure however digestion with eco r1 cleaves the chains at the recognition sequences producing a large number of cleaved linkers and the original dna fragment now carrying eco r1 sticky ends This modified fragment is ready for ligation into a cloning vector restricted with eco R1. This insert can be incorporated into vector molecule that has been cut with the same restriction enzyme eco R1 in this case. The same target site eco R1 is produced at each end of foreign DNA in recombinant vector and so enables foreign DNA to be excised and recovered after cloning and amplification of vector in the host bacterium. If you are watching my video for the first time subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the latest updates of my new uploads directly onto your mobile phone thank you